What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Foam Rose Food Express. Today we are going to be trying a bunch of different flavors of crepes. Crepes? Does that mean we're going to a French spot? No, 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 David. These are Japanese crepes. Japanese crepes? This is a Japanese style crepe. It's getting super popular right now. We're going to be eating 16 different flavors. Let's go. If you've ever had crepes before in your life, you can tell that these do not look like your average. They're usually rolled in like long form, kind of like mini burritos. Or almost like a bouquet of flowers, but it's really a bouquet of crepe. Hey, baby, I... Here's the crepes. Whoa, okay, so these are our first crepes right here, Dave. I got the vegetarian one. I've got a salmon cream cheese one, so based off kind of like a salmon lox bagel. Honestly, I would've eaten the salad by itself, like I said. And for it to be kind of this heavy, it's crepe. Okay, Andrew, for number three and number four, we've got the Angus beef and the BLT. Yo, Andrew, you like bacon. I love bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. You know, one of the things about eating crepes is way less carby than eating yeah. sandwich bread. But sometimes the bread gets in the way. If it's not good bread, it can really hurt the sandwich in a negative way. But this one, you can't go wrong with the crepe because it's just thin and crispy anyways. All crepes here at Tea Swirl are gluten free. This one was one of the most unexpected flavors that I thought they'd have at Tea Swirl because Angus beef shortbread, it's so like a, like a hearty. If you're a really hungry guy, shout out to Johnny. <laughs> Yo. Get the Angus steak. Oh man. Chomping power of a shark. Oh. Yo, Andrew, we got 14 more to go. Woo. Okay, so for number five and number six, I've got the shrimp avocado. And I got the beautiful egg white mushroom and truffle. Whoa, hey. Oh, yo, I I'm see. <laughs> Woo! I was not expecting the tanginess that came through on the avocado shrimp. Did it take you back to the beach, bro? It did, bro. We back in Cali? What? I feel like this is more New York though, because this had the mushroom truffle egg white. Yeah, that's not really a beach item. This is definitely more of like your French European. I'm thinking about just eating this end right here. Is that crazy? That was juicy. <laughs> All right, Andrew, we got the chicken teriyaki one. But I do think for guys, it's difficult to share these crepes. Did you see that video of the Mongolian kids doing paper, scissors, rock where they hit each other over the head with a soda can if they lose? I want that chicken teriyaki. Oh, oh, David wins. All right, man. Smells good, man. Oh, man. I'm pretty jealous, man. And I can hear the crunching of the spinach. Jeez, you need a napkin. You gotta try that. Oh, That's so good. Man. I'm sharking from one side and yeah. shark from the other. <laughs> I'm feeling like the crepe pancake is almost like the new French baguette from bun mi. You know how they oh, have all these snap. fusion bun mi's and you can stick anything in a bun mi and make it taste good? I feel like that's what crepes are doing right here. I thought you were gonna say that it's the substitute for rice. Hold on. So crepes are the in-between of bread and rice. Rice? All right, and we just finished with the savory crepes. Now we're moving on to sweet crepes, AKA dessert time. For number eight and nine, I've got strawberry banana and the chocolate banana. Yo, you trade me, bro? Because I hate chocolate banana. I know, strawberry banana is good too. I just, I'll miss you. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, move on before I finish this one. Get out of here. Coming in at number 10 and 11, I've got the matcha chocolate truffle and the mango raspberry. Yo, oh. Slices of mango inside that kind of look like french fries. Let's huh. get it, man. Yo, David, you know how we traded earlier? Yeah? Give me that. Oh! <laughs> Yo, you try it, man. I want you to know what it tastes like, man. man. It's fire, bro. It's pretty fire. Ooh. It's pretty fire. No disrespect to that, but this one? <laughs> this, this one. This one should have won music video of the year. Oh, matcha and chalk. That's what I need for my friends. <laughs> Ah! Okay, for the 12th and 13th crepe, I have the lychee romantic, aka lychee raspberry. And Yo. I've got the wild berries with granola on top, which kind of looks like a granola bar or a trail mix. Hey, this kind of looks like a yogurt parfait, mm. may I say. This one has a lot of mainstream middle America appeal. I would say that this one 
definitely tasted like a yogurt parfait. So if you like yogurt parfaits, you definitely should come get this yogurt parfait crate. All right, mine was actually pretty interesting, man, because the lychee was juicy. I'm not the hugest fan of raspberry flavored stuff, but between the custard and the lychee and, and the crepe, would you say that it could be a, a breakfast dish? Oh. For 14 and 15, I've got the blueberry New York cheesecake and I've got the caramel Fuji apple. Yo, Andrew, you think this is ice cream, huh? I thought it was ice cream. What is it? It's gelato. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. A little skeptical. After trying it, skepticism gone. I'm a believer. Oh. Yo, Yo, it was really good. Mm. Fuji apple isn't raw. It's like cooked. Basically, this one mimics what you would think is like a Fuji apple pie. Uh, it's delicious. Honestly, it brings me back because one of my favorite pies is the apple pie. All right, Andrew, at number 16, I've got the matcha azuki bean. Ooh, that looks crazy, but David, we couldn't stop at 16. I know earlier we said we were going to stop at 16, but we had to get the 17th one, which is mm. chocolate nut party. What? To me, that's the green tea party. This is the chocolate nut party. We're going heads up in a campaign. Yo, Andrew, what, what, do you, what do you got going on here, man? I, I, got, a like a, I got a party going on. That's what no, I got. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm just walking around the party like this. Just... Hey, what's up, guys? All right, Andrew. My major takeaway is that I did not know crepes could be this versatile. As being the carb for so many different things. I mean, instead of rice, instead of bread, it's a crepe. For me, I think it's just so cool to see something Eastern that's fused with something Western, but executed so authentically. Crepes are just like, any way you want to eat it, crepes are crepes. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros Food Express. Make sure you let us know in the comment section below. Number one, have you ever had a regular crepe or a Japanese-style crepe and which one you prefer? Number two, what's another fusion food that you can think of? And number three, let us know what your favorite dessert is or what dessert you want to see us cover. All right, you guys, until next time, we're out. Peace. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We are at Tea Squirrel in Chinatown, Manhattan on Mott Street. Hi, welcome to Tea Squirrel. Shout out to any Asian dessert spots out there and let us know in the comments below which ones you want us to cover around New York. All right, you guys, until next time, we're out. Peace! Peace.